right, Christy, here we are at another beach along the coast of 3A. Um, I think we're in Stitchwood. I just thought it'd be fun for us to um, just go, you know, go for a little walk. And um, I'll be silent. Okay, now let's start looking at the stones. <laughs> oh God, look at that. He's so, he, he seems like he'd be really cool to, to paint on, but he's um, round on the other side. You better be careful the socks getting wet. Uh, just look for a few minutes. I think I was gonna get out of here without showing you this stuff. All the little pebbles. I, I, I'm down you know, near the water. The, um, it didn't rain last night, so you can see um, when you walk up back up over the hill. We've been to this beach before. Um, then, um, ooh, that one's cool. Um, they're all dried out, so they're bruised, and um, they, they need a good washing, you know, either mineral oil or they go through the um, rock tumbler in order to take off the bruised edges and, you know, let, that, let them shine like this. Aren't they stunning? Alright, let's move along. Okay, these are all little tiny, teeny, teeny pebbles. Make these kind of short, just with all the energy going back and forth. Ooh, wow! Look at that one. Um, I just love the fact that uh, what's going on is magic between you and I. So uh, let's just keep seeing where this exciting journey is going. remember one uh, summer, I was thinking about somebody special, and I kept finding their, their name began with an A, and um, I, I cannot tell you how many um, stones I found with the letter A on it. It was, it, you know, it, it's, it's, you just, it's just not possible. <laughs> you know, it's like you can't force these spiritual experiences, um, you have to let them flow. You have to learn law of attraction and you have to learn how it works. Um, to control your... Woo! Hi there, how are you? Um, your patterns of thinking in this new energy and then magic just starts to happen. So I feel very fortunate this summer is going to be. Last summer was a really good summer, um, but I think this summer is just going to be so much more exciting because I can feel the new gifts coming in. Um, yeah, I, I, um, and especially this journey with you is a
so I'm gonna leave him for the kids. Um, but he's not too sharp, so don't worry. Um, what was I saying? <laughs> oh, that I feel grounded. Wow. Look at that. And um, I feel like now it's not controlling me. I'm, con you know, I'm, I'm able to control it and understand what finally happening um so that is one of the things that i've learned on the journey that you and i have had together um i just can't believe how fast i'm coming out of my shell and um just feeling so alive in this new energy and watching my life just completely turn around um i feel beautiful inside and out for the first time in my life and for somebody who has struggled and been through a lot in her lifetime I have never been able to shake in you know the junk in that you carry in your head um, with the programs and the, 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 the voices that um, you know that keep spinning around but once you learn to um, how to self-talk you can do it want to do in this new energy. Law of Attraction taught me so much and um, just a valuable tool for anybody. I think a lot of people got attracted to um, Abraham Hicks who I always talk about through um, because she was always talking about how to get rich. <laughs> you know people were like how do I how do I make money and um, you know, she was teaching them law of attraction, you know, and she's a channeler. She's, um, she chan she channels, it's very hard to describe. She channels infinite, um, intelligence, you know, um, and then it comes out through the personality of the, um, person channeling and, you know, the lives that they've held and all the wisdom, um, and then to the fullest. So, um, one of the things I find very interesting that I learned from actually from Cryon is that um, you know we we're on about like 30% DNA and um, the difference between there goes some comorons, the difference between us and say Jesus or Buddha um, is that they were operating on a hundred percent DNA and that's what's essentially happening is our DNA is waking up um, it's going to take a long time, you know, over generations for that, for us to reach, you know, that state. Because, um, you know, uh, it has to come in slow. Trust me, it it came on strong with me. And um, and I, I was having a blast sometimes, and other times I was fighting the darkness. Um, so I don't want to um, spend a lot of time, you know, digging up old old stuff like that but just say you know it hasn't been the easiest journey for me and it's been um, really the past few years I've spent um, retraining my thinking and it was really tough in the beginning because I've got a lot of, of conditioning and a lot of voices that talk to me every single day um, one of them is just um, and I'm sure a lot of women can identify this idea of perfect woman and what she's supposed to look like and um, you know I had my sister from a young age you know trying to look out for me saying you can't eat that that's gonna make you fat and then my dad judging me if I gained a few pounds and um, I really um, I'll say that I, I, I did suffer from well I played with anorexia but um, more bulimia and um, and even when I, I, I had, you know, stopped that, it didn't take, you know, I wasn't doing it for years on end. Um, but when I stopped, because it, it scared me, I was ruining my teeth. And um, I, I had to carry the luggage of, of, of the voices. And that's where your suffering is. It's, it's in your own head. And, you know, you're constantly being reminded, and, you know, everywhere you go. Um, in every advertisement, at the grocery store, um, at the mall, you know, we're all just trying to be, um, 
the best we can. And, and what's amazing is we're going to be turning into a more matriarchal society. And you can see it happening. The women are coming forward and they're not going to put up with it anymore. Um, and intuitive and loving and um, forgiving and compassionate and, um, you know, just watching the world change so quickly. And um, I've just seen so many, I've met so many new light workers who have actually um, just awoken um, like a year or so ago. And, um, you know, their experiences um, weren't as difficult as mine. Some of them were. Um, we, don't, we don't sit there and um, talk about it because we know it's a law of attraction thing. And, um, and it's something that, that somebody else can't help you with. You, you essentially have to go in there and, you know, it's exhaust, it was exhausting at first uh, to, to actually um, have to, every time one of those thoughts came in, to, to stop and say, no, that's a lie, that's not true. And your ego, which is, I don't mean it in the sense that um, people talk about, you know, he's got a big ego, his arrogance. I mean the ego, the sense of self that um, identifies with the conditioning and all that um, is fighting you. And I'm, I'm a very stubborn person, so it doesn't make it, it any easier when I'm uh, having to do what's called shadow work. You'll hear a lot of people talk about shadow work. And um, that's what it means. It's, it's going inside yourself. And um, some of the people I met, um, most amazing, um, I won't call them mentors. And they wouldn't want to be called mentors. We're family, you know, and it doesn't matter where you are. But they were further down the line and had, you know, were teachers to me. They, they did not baby me and they did not want to hear me sit around and um, talk about things that... Um, of the past it's like how you ha you will get through this you've got to go into yourself and um, and so they more kind of guided me along the way so um, we didn't you know it, it, it was a whole new way of um, changing the way that I have been patterned in into thinking and um, I'm finally at a place where um, I feel um, like it's it's kind of an automatic thing you know I it definitely don't get me wrong I'm not there is no boom you hit enlightenment it's we're constantly ascending so I'm not saying that I don't make mistakes I'm not saying I figured it all out I'm saying I'm having a blast on the journey now uh, losing a lot um, of that luggage in my own head um, now I can enjoy life now I can see a stone like this one <laughs> and just, I mean, get so excited about just um, how vivid the world is. Um, so again, it's just been a beautiful morning. It's a little windy out here, so I hope you can hear me. My back's to the wind, so um, I'm hoping that's helping with the um, with the audio. So we'll we'll see. I'm learning. I think I'm getting a little bit better, though. I, I do need one of those things to hold my camera straight, don't I? Because I, I do look off into the ocean. I'm not constantly staring through my camera. Um, because I want to enjoy it too, and it, it's much prettier when you're standing here looking at the ocean instead of looking through uh, a lens. So um, just having some fun out here with my guides. They've been playing with me. You know, they're very playful. They love to laugh. They love love to get me laughing because um, kids will tell you that when I start laughing and man when I lose it I just gonna pee my pants you know it, it is um, when you have those moments it is just um, so much fun and, and that is um, laughter is one of the highest uh, vibrations so um, they're gonna encourage it so for people who think this is has to be this big serious uh, struggle through um, enlightenment and you're gonna have to sit around like yoga you know yoga, whatever you know in yoga positions and it's not how it happened for me and um, a lot of mine came from rock songs I mean you wouldn't believe um, you know the universe is gonna tailor your experience to the things that bring you most bliss um, and the things that excite you and it doesn't matter what it is uh, we're all here to create and um, and
And, and that's the most important thing is that you follow your dreams. And what happens is when you're working with law of attraction and you start to work with your intuition and you lose the voices and you understand that we're all just a reflection of, of one another. And, you know, when you're angry at somebody, you're angry at yourself or something. And it's, um, it's all just based on um, individual perceptions. And, and um, when you start getting down to that and you realize there's no bottom to, you know, blame. You know, you, you could sit, I, I could sit here and, and blame so much, but geez, look at where it's brought me on my journey. Um, I had two very special kids that were constantly reminding me every time I said, oh, but I wish I'd done this. And they'd say to me, but then you wouldn't be here with us. And then I would be like, yeah, you're right. So, um, at any rate, um, okay, I'm gonna shut this down. It's getting kind of windy and my hands are getting a little chilly. It is the 40s, but um, with that wind chill um, coming off the ocean, it, it can be um, a little brutal after a while. So, um, here's sending love to everybody on this gorgeous, um, what day are we? I don't know. I'm in the now. <laughs> Who cares? Um, sending love and light.